Just like in the last two videos, we have a derivative of an integral. And just like video two in this series, we have an upper limit of integration that is a function itself. So what we have here with this integral is a composite function. We have 4x cubed plugged into this integral function. And when we take a derivative of that, we have to use the chain rule. So to take this derivative, really simply, we're just going to take this 4x cubed and we're going to plug it in here for t. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of that function. The derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared and we end up getting 48x to the fifth. Now that was a really fast problem. Sometimes I feel a little bit unsatisfied with that. So let's do a really quick bonus problem. What if instead of just a t here, we had a t cubed? Well, if we want to take the derivative of this integral, the first step is to take this 4x cubed and plug it in for t here. And we get 4x cubed squared, because that t there was squared. And then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of 4x cubed. So how do we square this function? Well, we square the 4, we square the x cubed. What's the derivative of 4x cubed? Well, it's still 12x squared. My calculator says that 16 times 12 is 192, and x to the 6 times x squared is x to the 8th, and that would be the answer for that bonus problem. All right, two problems in one. I like it.